imagine that you're this slow moving marine slug. You're eating your, uh, your, your herbivore, so you're eating the different algaes out here. And you find one day the member of the same species, another sea hare. It's very exciting because you don't run into somebody of your same species. So in order to reproduce, they're hermaphroditic. They have both male and female parts. And sometimes they can gather in a group. So if they run into a group of sea hares, they'll form a circle of mating sea hares. And it, sometimes it's just in a chain. So the first sea hare in the front always acts as a female. The sea hare in the back always acts as a male. And then the sea hares that are up in the lineup of this chain are acting as both male and female uh, hermaphrodites. Uh, so like a train circle? Sometimes it's, a, it's called the daisy chain when it's a line, and sometimes they'll circle up. And just like the Romans, it's referred to as a Roman circle, this mating behavior. But um, my little pig here is just, you know, Thank you all for coming out. You've made my day because I, um, in the last year, I've been finding sea hares quite regularly here. But before this last year, I, for 15 years, I've seen a one or two sea hares in here. It's one of those things when you start looking for a shape, you start to see it, and that's kind of what what's happened. I'm really looking now for the sea hare. But um, this is probably one of the largest ones I've found. That's why you're so excited. I am excited, yes. <laughs> and anyway, it's kind of a special little treat. Mm -hmm. Bye.